So hello guys welcome back to the channel a lot of you guys were facing issue in this lab so first of all click on start lab and open console incognito window now if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel so let's start basically in this video we will be using vertex ai workbench and we will be executing cells present in the jupyter nav so first of all click on i understand on the search box type workbench and select the one with vertex ai make sure to select vertex ai one not data broke so now here as you can see the workbench has been already created for us and if it asks to create it will be updated on the task so first of all we'll open the workbench and then open the jupyter lab so let's see so finally the jupyter lab is already present i mean the workbench so we have to open jupyter lab where we will be executing the cells please the jupyter lab is open here we have to click on intro to genii sdk version 1.0 so you have to open this file and here we will be using kernel as python 3 so let me show you how we will open so first of all as you can see there are three files so we have to click on one so just click on it now wait for the kernel status to get idle basically sometimes the kernel is auto selected and sometimes it prompted so as you can see here it's python kernel so we have selected python now wait for the kernel status to go idle currently it's working finally it's idle now here you have to run plus this pray button it will run the shell now we have to install google cloud sdk and then we will restart the kernel now once this command execute we will click on kernel then click on restart kernel then click on against restart so basically here we have to update the project id now so just update the project id carefully and the next one is region so for region just scroll down a bit as you can see location is here see west over near me it might be different for you so make sure to check it so now we will again restart the kernel if you haven't restarted so just click on this shell and click on kernel then restart kernel and then click on restart now wait for a few seconds till it gets idle so as you can see it's idle now run all shell one by one so just keep running and basically we have to wait for four to five minutes and just keep running and wait for some times So now here we don't have to update the bucket name if it asks it will be commented by hashtag so there is no need to update it will auto fetch the bucket name so no need to worry about it just let the shell to complete as you can see kernel is busy now if you want to view the job you can click on the console link now here wait for these commands to execute so let's wait then meanwhile you can click on the run button and let's learn till the end so after that we'll see what's happening and we have to wait for four to five minutes until the kernel status gets idle we have to only do one thing that is wait so wait for the kernel status to get idle now we will move forward to the lab instruction and hit check my progress of the kernel status is now order so let's see how many scores we get So just refresh the browser as you can see we got 70 now again hit check my progress you'll get the score and finally all score has been updated we are done with the lab do like share and subscribe the channel thank you guys have a great